lot of stuff I'm gonna talk about tonight. Right, let's get these numbers up. I haven't hit a hundred yet. Where's my folks at? We gonna raise hell tonight. Woo! Lord. Okay. Who, who gonna be brave enough to come for me? I am from East Oakland. Amen. This is what they like to fight and act a fool. I, I don't bother folks, but when you come for me, I'm gonna help straighten you out. See, I'm gonna fight you and tell one of us is dead. Prove, prove that I'm lying. <laughs> Larry, let me say this to you, sir, and let me say this to your attorney. There is no cease and desist. That will, as long as there's life and breath in my body, I will be saying your name and talking about these allegations. And there will be no cease and desist that will stop me. Ever! cell phone okay yeah do that because uh oh here they go greeting <laughs> why are you laughing william you tickle me so bad but first of all let me tell everybody who this is this is Obnoxious TV, Will McRae, who created the entire church commentary space. Nobody was doing this before him. When did you start, William? Oh my gosh. Um, I was doing it a little bit before, but um, my first, the, the first, uh, well, when it really got major or when it really took notice, when I broke Juanita, uh, the Juanita Bynum story. But you were doing it before then. What year was that? Um, Somebody I said have... 07. Somebody said 07. It could be 07. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> been a, it's been about that. It's been, it, it's been at least 15 years. Yeah, see, I, I didn't start... I was talking online, playing around, but I didn't start Larry Live until 2016. So this is the the father <laughs> of, of this kind of thing. And I met him in 2011. And so I've known oh him. Oh my God. Yep, I've known him that long. So we, we were real friends before anybody else that I, I met online. I got other friends online like Conscious TV, who's a great, great friend to me, you know, but I, this, I knew him since 2011. I as, knew as, as they say, we have history. History, absolutely. <laughs> so what do you think about what I'm talking about right now? I want to hear this. If William McRae is not a welcome force on the Larry Reed Live platform, then that can only mean one thing. There's a possible shift in the matrix that has caused a realignment of forces, allies, and old foes. There's a popular adage that all of us should be familiar with. That adage is, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. I've come to realize that the YouTube beef section has given paralyzing new meaning to this phrase. Therefore, all should be careful in how you end a YouTube friendship because if you turn a former friend into a scorned enemy, that could spell for difficult times. William McRae III is, was a staunch enemy of Larry Reed and of Vincent T. Hill. Their beef arose due to bad business dealings that occurred around the 2016 era and is seemingly sustained until present day. Now, since Vincent's recent severing of ties with Camp Larry Reed, his exodus has made him an attractive asset to many of Larry Reed's opposition. William McRae would be one of those figures looking to capitalize on the separation in an effort to reclaim prized lost possessions. 
here's Williams recounting on their beef and previously harsh criticisms he's made of Larry. I started this over a decade ago. Larry, when I was on Dion Evans' radio station, Larry was an avid fan of mine. He was allegedly a pastor in the Riley Durham area. That's what he said. He would call in and he would come on my radio show every day. Now, nobody is going to tell the truth. If he came on the show, I would call into the show so frequently that I got to the place that when I would go uh, to Kojic conventions and when I would be out of town on trips, I got to the point, me and my silly self, not knowing that he was trying to infiltrate me, I allowed him to fill in for me on, on my show. Now, said that I that they did the show better than me, and that Dion uh, uh, wanted me off and to give them the time slot. So what he did, Dion, when I thinking that he was going to get the same, he was going to charge Larry, or he started charging Larry. And gave my time when I told him that I wasn't going to do the show anymore because he owed me money. And I didn't think he should continue to go further and further in the hole. He thought, or so he thought, that he was going to kill two birds with one stone. He was going to have Larry come on and Larry pay him for the time slot. Which he did. Which he, which he did. And then that went on until uh, Dion eventually lost the station probably in less than 90 to, uh, in less than uh, 60 to 90 days. They went, they, they, uh, they folded it. Out of there. When you do. Um, so I did the story or did another story on Ernest. Unbeknowing to me, Larry was working with Ernest and his manager and coaching them on how to possibly, or when they attempted to get WordPress to take my blog down. Larry was calling me, talking like he was trying to uh, negotiate some kind of terms and some kind of, you know, uh, peaceful way um, with us and, and uh, with with Ernest, which I was in no kind of way interested in. So WordPress um, emailed me and said that I had some strikes um, against uh, <clears throat> against my blog and that I had a week to secure my files um, because they were going to take the they were going to take the blog down. All of the time, the emails and the reports went back to lab. I didn't know that at the time. So, because we had had some type of mutual, um, cordial uh, relationship, <clears throat> I called him. And um, the second time, this is the second time I went to his house over there on Roxbury Road. The first time, he was still dealing with Vincent Terrell Hill, who's a total and complete sleazebag. And I think he does cocaine now, too, when I got him fired from AIB. Um, I think he was doing uh, cocaine. So, um, and we the didn't, um, he spoke to me about the situation with, with Ernest. So while I was there, he suggested that I use uh, Vince to pull the files. Now, some of you may say, well, why would I do that? When you sometimes are in the heat of a crisis, you don't necessarily make the solid and the best decisions that you would ordinarily make if you if, if those circumstances. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not the case. So it was it was like okay, it, you're in a crisis. This guy uh, can do it. 
let's just hurry up and get it done. Not knowing that he was going to eventually try to hijack the site and shut me down for Larry. That didn't, that wasn't apparent to me right then. Um, and so it later, it later, you know, came full circle. Um, where, and see, I knew Vince never could stand me. I knew that. And it was, it was a very tense, uh, connection and, you know, um, relationship. It, it, it just, it never was good. It was never, it was never positive. And what he did, he attempted to hijack the site, um, to shut me down so that, uh, I would not have a voice. And so that Larry would be the go-to and and the voice for the whole black church blogging thing. Um, and um, so what was the outcome? Um, the outcome was I still have my sight and I'm still standing. Um, e- even though you know, they attempted to uh, to uh, try that. What he was trying to do, and the reason that he was paying other bloggers, um, be the, the I guess the top guy or, or what have you, which matters not because I, I'm in a class all by myself, so there's no competition here because can't nobody compete with me because I'm in a league all alone that 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 I that I try to shut the site down as long as I have li- as long as I have life and breath in my body. No one can touch the, my level of, of, of uh, intelligence and style and ability to deliver and cover a story. No one, no one does. No, no one does not um, does not even have the ability to come close to execute the way that I do. And that's just the truth. Um, and so I was. I didn't catch it. I didn't catch it right then. When I caught it, is when. We discovered that he took a ten thousand dollar payoff from E. Dewey Smith, and I told you he was doing these so-called fake marketing contracts, or call, saying that they were marketing PR contracts to cover that he was really extorting. So that's how that that happened with E. Dewey Smith. That happened with with uh, with Keon. But the thing that was so bad is that he's so dirty that he would do a contract with them and and get paid and then get another blogger that was trying to come up and trying to get some. I reported on it and then immediately he went into trying to attack me and trying to attempt to ruin my credibility. And that's when he hired that faggot, sleeves bag, dope, dope boy, tramp, trollop, uh, that's supposed to have something called Conscious TV, or the faggot's name is Darion. And I tell you, if I ever see him in person, if I ever see him, he, he better kill me. And that's a problem. Um, and so to be they started to pay them and and have them steal. Now, isn't that dirty? Now you would get paid and then steal. Find a way to release the story. Oh, but God, I'm gonna tell so, you. So then he said that the house that it wasn't even a house where. The, 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 the molestations allegedly took place. See, all of this, now he's saying, or now he's coming out to, uh, out of the closet and backpedaling and, and, and now saying that he, uh, that he is gay or that he has had sexual uh, affairs. I don't, I don't know to what extent um, I'm not sure that, that is interesting to me. See, like, I'm wondering, I, I want to see how far, I want to see how far Carlton Pearson is willing to go with Larry. I want to see how far Bernard, now, because see, the interesting thing about, about Bernard Jordan, Every Bethany's son, when he had that thing down at the Hyatt, 
I I tag I did a post and a story. I tagged Vicky Winans. I tagged Carlton Pearson. Everybody that was a uh, uh, Ty uh, Trivet, <coughs> um, Kevin Lemons. Everyone that went. Am I talking right? He said it has been the pandemic, and he said those people are going to go, and they're gonna get that check. In spite of one canceled. Not one. Not one person canceled. They wanted they wanted though that, that money. So they So whether lied. he ever goes to jail or is prosecuted, just now that this kind of hideous act is out there and associated with your name is enough. So I'm wondering how I, and maybe y'all can tell me how far, or do you all really or do you think it'll matter? Now I got into um, see nobody, nobody that is supposed to be a sanctified preacher can rationalize inviting and having anybody come and and preach and support their ministry, and they are known molester. I don't, I don't see how you I don't see how you can rationalize someone that has no credibility how can you listen and follow somebody that manipulated and violated children I ain't talking about no adult I, I, yeah, you know if, 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 if a man want to pull his drawers down and let another man have sex with him then that you know they grown and they made a decision to to do that but when you start dealing with children and, and, and teenagers and then when you have somebody that is willing to come forward shop in my Zelle my cash app in Zelle is down there um, I'm out of town I want you if y'all can support Larry and these other trash and his other folks that's out here y'all can support me I'm gonna just say it like that now y'all can say it's not gonna have an effect. Y'all can say that it, it, that nobody. I guess none of y'all. No, so nobody has any kind of morals. No one doesn't have. No, no one has no kind of principles. No kind of standard. No kind of anything. So that that's what y'all saying. That's what you're saying. You're saying that nobody has. That we're living in a society in a time where we have no integrity. No one gives a damn. Okay. So is Yolanda? Going to still be able to, to to have some level of affiliation with somebody that has been declared to be a a a molester is Kirk Franklin and any of these other people that have had some level of degree of, of connect or any of them or so y'all saying that none of that is going to matter and they're going to still be able to have their connection and it's not and, and no one is going no one so so is is, is that how sick and how demonic that the church has become because if that's the case then we all need to empty out and not even go i have been able to you know come to some term but i just don't i don't, I don't understand that y'all hate me and sing a, a a child molester's praises now they can say i'm a homosexual they have said i'm a homosexual they say i'm a faggot they say i'm a transvestite or transsexual or trans gender or whatever <laughs> you name it they they have said it about me uh, 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 they have uh, told uh, uh, me uh, uh, that the, i'm the stone that the builder rejected even in the midst he has yet allowed and sustained me and for that i am grateful for that i am grateful and he's going to he's going to do just where his word says. Now, as when I talked to Carlton Pearson, he said he didn't believe it. I said, well, that's fine. Some of you all said that it's an allegation. Well, T.I. is off of television because of an allegation. You've had senators and elected officials to resign because of an allegation and the disgrace of Bishop Eddie Lee Long. If we have allowed an imposter to 
to enter our midst. If we have allowed a wolf to come to to someone, to come in and look like us and act like us and have the sound of the church and infiltrate us and actually be a demon and a hound sent from hell and that would be camouflaged and to be a person that is, you know, for and, and professing Christ and professing God. Where do you go to church? Who do you pay your tithes to? Absolutely enchanting. The, the cult-like atmosphere, the leave your mama and daddy's house and stay in these in these houses and parsonages that I have and to allow me to have access to you without any kind of uh, permission by a guardian it, it is so familiar it, 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 down it, it, to every it address so and all of the information and to every allegation and want to know who how many of them did you have sex with how did you have sex with them at what time did you have sex with them what did you do to them what mouth part what body part whatever I want the full and total and complete details I promise you I promise you, I'm not gonna turn it loose. I'm like not gonna be. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going to be like uh, 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 E. Dewey Smith. I'm not going to be like Matthew Stevenson. I'm not going to be like any of them. And I'm gonna walk. <laughs> I'm gonna walk, and I'm gonna go around Atlanta and the country freely. And I'm not gonna be afraid. Because God has not given me a spirit of fear, but one of love and of power and of a sound mind. I'm going to walk this I'm going, and I'm trying forward. to. So, yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. So we're going to move forward. We got it. Now everybody wants to say, oh, this is just an allegation. Well, it's an allegation of child molestation. It's an allegation of homosexuality. It's an allegation that is exactly a, 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 a paramount and against what you were supposed to be standing for. So how could this be named among you? How could this be? The Bible says, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, Isaiah said to lift up your voice like a trumpet inside it and cry loud and spare not to show show them show you we gonna show you <laughs> oh we gonna show you reverend we gonna show you doctor doctor Reed. we gonna show you your transgressions we gonna show you the error of your ways so but we don't wait Larry let me say this to you, sir, and let me say this to your attorney. There is no cease and desist that will, as long as there's life and breath in my body, I will be saying your name and talking about these allegations. And there will be no cease and desist that will stop me. Ever! Let us get that straight. You can send it to a hotel, you can send it to a motel, you can send it to a church, you can send a sheriff, (laughs) whatever, my whomever you need to send. I promise you that Sir William, I, I promise you, as long as I can inhale and exhale, if I have to do it with an oxygen tank and stretched out flat on my back, baby, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna talk about this. I'm going to talk about it until we get to the bottom of it. I'm going to talk about it until the boys come forward. I'm going to talk about it until we totally and completely exhausted to de- uh, down to every address and all of the information and to every allegation. If I was preaching a sermon, I, w- I would tell him, I would say, t- tap your neighbor and tell him, Abra- tell, him tell the devil, Abracadabra, God <laughs> in his handiwork. When you tried, tried to come in and destroy me. He ducked and dodged and covered me. But I mean, the, y'all die. tried to kill me. But I was too honry to die. They <laughs> Abra Cadabra. 